Welcome to part two of the video training for graphics output types in Voxler 3. We will continue where we left off in part one. To create a face render, you need a lattice or to grid a data file. Click Gridder and then Network, Graphics Output, Face Render. The face render displays uninterpolated cubes of an input lattice. Each cube represents one unit in each of the X, Y, and Z directions. You can select to use component average to show edges, colors, area to display, and if a legend is displayed. To create a vol render, you need a lattice or to grid a data file. Click Gridder and then Network, Graphics Output, Vol Render. The vol render is added to the display. A vol render is a 3D representation of a lattice where the component values are displayed as varying colors. You can change the texture type opacity, composition, interpolation, colors, and if a legend is displayed. To create streamlines and vector plots, you need to load a lattice that contains three components in addition to XYZ coordinates. Click File and New and select No when prompted to save the changes. Click Network, Data Source, Test Lattice to load a data file that contains the correct number of components. Click Network, Graphics Output Streamlines. Streamlines represent lines within a volume that indicate flow direction and magnitude. You can change the type of line properties, step interval, and number of steps, minimum velocity, direction, color, and color method, and if a legend is displayed. Click on the test lattice to select it and click Network, Graphics Output, Vector Plot. The vector plot uses arrows to indicate flow, direction, and magnitude. You can change the orientation, frequency, vector style, color, color method, scale values, orientation, and line width. You can also choose whether a legend is displayed. To create axes, you need a data file, grid, lattice, or any graphics output module. Click on the vector plot and click Network, Graphics Output, Axes. The axes only cover the area of the object to which it was added. Other objects may be outside the axes. The axes display labels and lines showing the X, Y, and Z directions and values. You can change the color, title, label properties, axis location, and axis values for each of the X, Y, and Z axes respectively. You can also display and change the property of grid lines for each axis. To create a bounding box, click on Test Lattice, then click Network Graphics Output Bounding Box. Notice that the bounding box, like the axes, covers only the area of the object to which it was added. In this case, some of the vectors are outside the bounding box. The bounding box displays a box around the module extents. You can change the color, line properties, and label properties for the bounding box. To create a clipped plane, you need a graphics output module. Click on the vector plot and click Network Graphics Output Clip Plane. The clip plane hides a section of the module to which it is connected. All items on one side of the clipping plane are hidden. You can change the direction and location of the clipping plane and also swap which side of the plane is clipped. To create a well render, you will need well data that is imported with azimuth, dip, and measured depth, directional survey information, or pre-computed X, Y, and Z values positioned along the well path. Click File, New, and select No when prompted to save the changes. Click File, Import, select Sample Well Data.dat and click Open. Click OK in the first dialog. In the Select Data Columns dialog, choose Import as Wells and use Header Row, then click OK. Select the Well Paths tab in the Property Manager and click Compute Paths. Next, click Network, Graphics Output, Well Render. You can show labels, directional data, interval data, or change the color and size of your path data. This concludes Part 2 of the video training for the various graphics output types in Voxler 3. If you have any additional questions, please contact Golden Software.